Hi, my name is Robert Shelley with Shelley Law, and my law firm assists nurses with nursing board issues. Today I'm gonna to talk about how long discipline can stay on a nurse's record. So first, this is completely state dependent. Uh, there is no uh, one size fits all answer for this question. Uh, it, it, it completely depends upon the laws of your state. Now I'm gonna walk through what's normal and the things to look for, but you absolutely need to check with the nursing board of your state because it varies uh, between state to state. So let's go through the process of discipline um, and then where it shows up <laughs> and then the way that you can get it removed if possible in your state. So uh, for any board of nursing, uh, there are kind of two types of discipline. You have uh, formal discipline, meaning it is something that is reported uh, and it generally available to the public. And then there's non-disciplinary outcomes. Now, once again, this does change from state to state, but uh, you could have a letter of concern. Um, they could have some kind of non-disciplinary continuing education order, uh, a letter of reprimand, advisory letter. Uh, it, it does, you know, it's, it has different names in different states, but uh, generally non-disciplinary outcomes, uh, you know, usually aren't reported on a board's website, or if they use nurses, uh, they do not get reported to nurses either. If a nurse is given formal discipline, uh, it could be through a civil penalty, a decree of censure, a disciplinary order for continuing education, probation, voluntary surrender, suspension. These are all formal disciplinary outcomes, and these are reported to nurses. Uh, and then ultimately sometimes the National Practitioner Data Bank, depending upon, uh, I guess, what type of nurse uh, they are. Now, if discipline is reported to nurses, uh, the only way to get it removed is if your state has a mechanism in place to either remove or expunge past disciplinary incidents. Uh, <clears throat> I live in Arizona. I represent nurses before the Arizona board. Currently, there is no mechanism to get discipline removed from nurses under Arizona law. So, uh, I mean, it's a tough conversation to have, but if they are uh, dis formally disciplined in Arizona, if, meaning if they being a nurse, it, it's on there forever. Now we are trying to get the laws changed, but that is a very long process. Um, so, you need to identify if your state has some kind of mechanism to get any formal discipline removed uh, and, and then find out what the process is uh, you know, in order to do that. Uh, once again, in Arizona, the board used to host their own ver license verification. And when I started this a long time ago, it was stayed on for 10 years. And then at some point they modified it to five and then they took it from hosting it themselves to using nurses. And then at that point, that's when it changed. Um, and they're no longer removed at all, which is obviously frustrating for a nurse. So uh, in summary, you need to identify were you given formal discipline or a non-disciplinary outcome? Uh, what type of hosting your state is, uh, uses for license verification. Do they do it themselves or do they do it through nurses? Uh, and then three, is there a mechanism for your state to either expunge, remove, uh, it could be a number of different words. And then if they do have that available, then you need to utilize that um, uh, and get that removed. And then it could be uh, theoretically taken off of nurses. So hopefully that was helpful. If you have any questions about your nursing license, feel free to contact my law firm at the phone number listed below in the description. Uh, you can reach us through our website listed below as well. And appreciate you watching the video. Thanks.